Area police officers are revving up their motorcycle <laughs> engines right now. They are practicing for the Mid-Atlantic Police Skills Competition that's happening next month at Heinz Field. Apparently there is a lot of training that goes into riding a motorcycle at this level. Mikey Hood is live on the north side to give us a sneak peek as to what it takes to win. Hey guys, I feel like this is a scene out of the movie Police Academy. There are motorcycles everywhere. I'm actually joined by Jeff Vesey, who is the president of Mid-Atlantic Motorcycle Riding Committee to tell us what this competition is all about. Hey Jeff. Hey Mikey, how's it going? So about 40 years ago, they started this competition down in Fairfax, Virginia to promote safety and camaraderie between police officers throughout the country and to pass on training tips throughout the other departments. So this will be the first year we have it in Pittsburgh and we're proud to host it and carry on the tradition. So who all will be attending this event? We'll have riders from Fairfax, um, most of the areas of Virginia, probably some from South Carolina, and we have about six that are saying they're coming down from Canada, so we're hoping to see all of them. From Canada, that's cool. So what, what can people expect to see at the event? So they're going to see um, motor officers and paramedics um, competing in a competition, but yet it's about training. So we'll have different levels of riders. We'll have novice riders. We'll have expert riders. And we've actually done something a little different this year. We brought in some elite riders that are retired, and we're putting them in their own class, like a master class, almost like a professional level riding. That's pretty cool. So how are our local police officers trained? So everybody that rides either a police or paramedic motorcycle in the city of Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas are pretty much trained by us. So we put them through an 80 hour motorcycle operator course and that's just an introductory into their training. So throughout the year they continue to practice and train and we bring them back for 40 hours of in-service training and recertify them every year. Wow, it, it, it's, I'm sure it's a lot harder than what it actually looks. Yes, it's, it's a little bit different than the way we ride as civilians. Um, we ride at a higher level and we have to have more skill and safety concerns because we're riding through crowded areas, um, a lot of parked cars. So again, we don't want to do damage to any vehicle or person, but also we want these officers and medics to stay safe when they're operating these vehicles. Okay, and so I know that this event will be at Heinz Field. It's not until June and you'll have vendors there, you'll have food, all types of fun stuff, but how does this benefit the Special Olympics? So every city that hosts the event can pick the charity that they want to make the proceeds go to. And Special Olympics of Western Pennsylvania is very dear to our hearts. Uh, Chief Schubert does a lot for the organization and we've gotten tons of support from the city, from Chief Schubert, Chief Romano. So, you know, we want to carry that on and pass it on to the Special Olympics of Western Pennsylvania. What's your favorite part about this event? Um, the, my favorite part would be um, getting to be around the other operators from around the country, see the different things that they do that are maybe a little bit different than us as an instructor and a trainer. If we can pass something on to our officers to keep them safer, it's beneficial to everybody. I, I love this and I'm so excited. And this is one thing that I'm thinking of before we go. Do you need judges for this? So yeah, any help that we can get for judges would be great. Um, Hal Dealey from Schneider's Riders is putting together a list. Um, he's gone out to the local hog chapters. But again, anybody who has an interest in motorcycles and wants to be part of the organization, uh, they can contact Hal and we'll you know get them on board. Thank you so much, Jeff. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Appreciate it. So when we come back, May is Motorcycle Safety Month, so we're going to learn how to prevent the most common motorcycle accident. And also, I might get on a bike, so you want to stay tuned for that. Uh, you don't want to miss it. I'm going to change my shoes, actually, and put on some uh, tennis shoes here. So we'll be back in a second. <laughs> That's a tease if I've ever that heard one. That is a tease. <laughs> I want to see that. Stick around for that.